since we've done a, a live chat at night and I thought that'd be fun. Everything's done for the day. It was a really busy day. Uh, I guess I don't got to wait for people to get here because we're just unwinded anyways. You guys have a good day today? What all we got here? Emily, Crystal Ann, Teresa, Peggy Sue, Hannah Miller, Rachel Day, Amanda, Cindy, Teresa, this shirt's not quite as big as it used to be on me, kind of shrinking. I've been enjoying my t-shirts a little more and relaxing and getting out of my stuffy polos when I'm not working. Good to see everybody. Just dropping in for a few minutes. I'm glad you can make it. Good to see you. Celestial Soul, good to see you. Haven't seen you in a little while. Good to see everyone. You guys have a good uh, good Wednesday. Wednesday's my office day, so I was in the shop all day. I probably had 10 to 15 voicemails I had to call back. I had a stack of computers, uh, six or seven computers. I had like five customers come in, people I had to do remote work for. It was an extremely busy day. But I managed to get it all. I kind of caught up a little bit. Um, and so I, I ended up having some time. I, I delegated some of the dinner preparation to some of the kids. Uh, my girlfriend helped me prepare dinner. See, the hints get stronger and stronger, right? So she told me what to make and we, uh, we did that and had some chicken, some Italian seasoned chicken and some corn, and we had macaroni and cheese on the side for once, so that was a good idea, as opposed to have a main course. I didn't even think to have it as a side. It's always on a side, like at restaurants, so. Just watch one of your grocery hauls when you said you were live. I know, I've been missing the lives and watching replays. Well, I'm glad you made it. It must be like a 30 second delay. I'm surprised no one said anything. You look younger lately, Tom. We'll see. There you go. I guess my fashion tips have helped, huh? <laughs> Asher helping you out in the office on Wednesdays. Love how you just dropped that into the conversation. Did you like that? It was it was pretty slick. It was pretty slick. I'm teaching youth group. Oh, that's fine. We just got back from youth group. That's awesome. Well, I know you guys are going to be waiting, wanting information, uh, but I'll only share it as I as I see it would be a good idea to. Um, I'm going to be much more private about it, so you won't get very much. So. Enjoy the little tidbits I get you. <laughs> I'm kind of, you know, dropping it in there little by little. Most of you guys picked up what I, you smelled what I was cooking. Yep, so I'm very happy about it. So Very happy that the dinner thing worked out. That's why I was able to really catch up. Although, I mean, I'm not sure how it happened. I, Asher's been helping me in the office. So he was in the office today. He, uh, he asked me if he could set his goals different, change his workload today so he could help me in the office more. And I was extremely grateful to have him help. So um, I said, yes, please. And ta Asher's almost done. He may graduate very soon, uh, more than a full year in advance. And uh, so I'm very proud of him. And he's been helping me. So he put took some laptops apart for me. Um helped uh he cleans up the office half the things is just getting things all kind of uh 
um, set up. So um, I have piles of computers, and I got to unwrap them and uh, open them up, get them hooked up to my system, and get them booted and find out what's wrong with them, and then pre prepare how I'm going to fix them. And I got a bunch of those to do. Just doing that takes time. And sometimes something will happen, and I start to set up one, and then I got to go get a tangent, and then I come back and I don't get it set up all the way. And so I actually can clean up and clean up those things. Yeah, I'm not going to share very much at all. So um, you guys have seen in the past how things uh, weren't as private and it ended up being a nightmare for everybody involved. So uh, I learned my lesson. So uh, things are just going to be private. And uh, I will share as I decide to share. So I hope that doesn't offend you, but that's just how I'm going to do it. So... I don't think they're sticking up for me last night with all the nonsense going on in the chat. Appreciate that you saw that I was saying, even if some of the chat did not. Absolutely, I agree. I agreed with you, Lin B. Uh, I haven't been super happy with uh, uh, the status of, of the chat. I've gotten lots of comments. Uh, I got one just yesterday uh, of people that say they don't like to chat because they get squished by people in the chat. And um, I don't, I don't like that. So I'm, I'm praying about it and thinking about it, best ways to handle it. And uh, if there's anything that can be done, I'm going to try and figure that out because this has always been an open. That wasn't the case when Andrea was around, and I'd like to get back to that and the family atmosphere and where everybody's welcome and we're just having fun and sharing together and um, not. Um, I don't know. I, I'm going to pray about it and figure out how I'm going to deal with it. But I appreciated most everything you had to say, Lynn B. It was, you were saying things that I was thinking. You can explain, Tom, what we might not understand. Uh, I'm not sure what we're talking about now. Didn't read your deleted message. Don't understand. I missed something. Doesn't offend. Just be happy to keep watching no matter what. Oh, thank you. I know a lot of people are that way, but I, I do have some people that said that they've bowed out of the chat, and I have several people I haven't seen, and uh, I think that's why, and I just, I don't know. I'm going to just pray about it and see the best thing to do. So, You subscribe, I understand you need to keep things private. Well, thank you, Jan. Um, last time this happened, it was not very private, and it ended up being very hurtful uh, to everybody, and actually causing levels of things happening that you have no idea about, because we've not shared them. So, um, but bad things. So, ultimately, my family is the most important thing in my life, and so I'm going to protect those that I care about a lot. So, I enjoy sharing and showing you guys our life and um, teaching and showing the things that we've learned and the things that we've done and we continue to do uh, as far as having a family and putting our priorities in right and how we worship and, and study the Lord and uh, how we organize and take care of our family and have fun and good ideas about organization. All those things are still very much in our life and um, those are the things I want to focus on. Yep, this is one of my first shirts that I had made. That I, I love it. I saw this saying and said, that needs to be on a shirt, and I need to wear it at every homeschool conference. And I did. So, yep, I, I, it's, it's shrunk a little bit. So, you know, Andrea used to like it when my shirt was a little shrunk because she said it made me, my arms look awesome. <laughs> what am I saying that out loud for? Uh, I need to, there's a 30 second delay. How can I stop it? Well, anyways. What is the Moorcroft Leader Stone made on? That's the name of a newspaper. That's the name of a newspaper. AC, how do you know about that? Has that been on a video? Or um, is that, um, or 
you're somebody local. Let's see, AC, could that be, no, that's not, um, did you guys, uh, I don't know if, I, I guess it's not going to cause any problems to say it. You guys mentioned lately that there were a few uh, months ago, weeks ago, I don't know, uh, there was a, a family that said they were moving into Moorcroft, and I was like, oh, really, you're going to be neighbors? And they kind of said some stuff, and, and I got to meet them, and uh, they have uh, four kids and four boys, and they're really cool family. And I can't tell you enough good things about them. They're, uh, we're going to have a play date, and uh, we got to meet them. It's a lot of fun. So I'm very excited to, to meet them. If you guys are out there, Marcus, and it's good to see you, man. Hope to uh, hook up with you soon. As Asher gets really skilled with computers, could there be enough work to have you both work that full, uh, full time until he graduates? Absolutely possible. Actually, Asher brought that up of his own volition today. He says, "Dad, if I uh, if I finish my job and get my school and get all graduated, can I uh, and I go out and, and work with you? Because would I get paid? And how much would I get paid and all that?" And uh, we were talking about that a little bit, and that'd be really nice. My the whole life could get easier uh, with that. And Asher has been really absorbing the computer work. He's good at it, and uh, I'm I'm really excited. Oh, it is. It is. Oh, that's so cool. I see. Uh, that's them. Well, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's the, the, the newspaper. That's the Moorcroft Leader is a newspaper. So um, it used to be bigger. I mean, it's a little local paper we get at the store. Um, that's, uh, that's the publisher down there. I fixed their computers a long time ago, but it's been quite some time. Andrea's mom used to work for the paper. And so we, I had a lot more affiliation with them about then. So that's so cool. That's so fun. I'm glad that you guys made it. All papers used to be bigger. Oh, yeah, that's probably true. I hear you keeping things private and being brave. Yep, that's exactly what I'm doing. Any idea when you interview Claudia? The videos are starting to pile up. I have a lot of good videos to release. I have a quick shopping video. I have the rest of um, May vlog to put out, which is good stuff. And there was something else I had to do. I got to do the, the, the Claudia interview. I'm looking forward to that. It should be a lot of fun. And uh, I enjoy the family focus vlog. Some people watch for dating drama. So it's a good idea to keep it private. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. So. I mean, I've I've always been open and honest with you guys, and so I'm I'm gonna I want to tell you what's going on in my life, but I don't want you all to be in my life, so to speak. I, I do want you to be. It, it's a shame that um, some people have to ruin it for others, and so I just rather be private. I care very much about this person, and I want to protect them with all that I have. So I'm not going to do anything that's going to possibly. Uh, Put them in the jeopardy so it's uh that's just how it's going to be ultimately um we're going to get more we're going to get less and less lives that's just how it's going to be um the lives were good because we were busy and hectic and um we'll still have them we'll still have chatting lives and we'll do stuff every once in a while but it's it's going to be more and more seldom, and we're going to get more back to the vlogs, the heart of the channel, um, family, and um, love, and all the things that we have. Our Christian walk, it's just part of our life, and um, what it's like to grow up and raise good kids. And it's sad that it's a lost art anymore. Is your asparagus sprouting? I don't know. I got a wicked asparagus sliver. 
you think slivers are hard to get out of your skin, the smaller ones, asparagus slivers, they're white. I had a white sliver in my hand, and I couldn't get it out in my thumb. And I was, I was like, is it there? Is it not? And I tore myself all up with a needle trying to get it out. I couldn't see it, couldn't find it. We were breaking all the old asparagus out, and then the big woody ones get a lot of slivers. And Thank God Asher was able to get it out. I could not... I could not get it. I couldn't find it. I couldn't do it. Andrea was my sliver getter, and uh, I'm terrible at it. Hold on. Who's out there? Oh, buddy, buddy, don't stay. I won't, buddy. Um, buddy, you, you don't have your clothes all on, so why don't you just go out and go back to bed, okay? Um, no. No Jolly Rancher before bed. It's bad for your teeth. Um, I missed something here. It's not cutting down all just yet, but it's going to dwindle down a little bit. It's not like we're changing it overnight, but that's going to continue to be the, the pull. It's going to be less and less live, unscripted stuff. We'll still have that. We'll have the live dinners, and uh, I don't know what I'll do. I haven't even thought about it, but too much. But I know that's where I want to get to. Bike rides lately? I haven't done any bike rides lately. Um, I did get, I, I ordered, uh, you guys, maybe I told you, maybe I didn't. Um, I got some, uh, the Tannis Airless tires. They're solid core tires, and they're supposed to go for 5,000 miles with no problems. And they don't ever get flats. And uh, they're also bright red, which is amazing. And, uh, but I couldn't get them on my bike. They didn't have them for our size. I found, ordered some and they didn't fit. Um, I misread how to measure the rims. Uh, the rims I had as road bike tires and they were way too small. So I actually had some custom rims built and it took like two and a half months to get them made and shipped. Finally got them last week. Mr. Reeves, who come, they come to our home church. Uh, he's used to work in a bike shop, so he's like a bike expert. So he, I, I gave him the rim, one of the rims, and he got one on. I went over there today and saw it, and uh, he got it all put in there, and it's this, this anodized red. So I got a red rim, and these bright red tires are going to go on it. It's, it's so cool. Uh, so I'm, I'm out of bike's out of commission for a little bit, but I'm assuming here any couple days he'll have the other one on, and I can try it all out. So uh, I guess I missed something here. I don't understand why people are so rude and ugly and say hurtful things. I don't realize that. I don't like that. I don't understand it either, Hannah Miller. So I get to see my kids tomorrow. That's great. I missed something there. In over a year. Well, that's exciting, Lady D. It's called gloves. It might help when guarding. I had gloves on. Okay, I'm not, I wasn't dumb. But I, I had gloves on. Uh, work gloves. But I worked fingers out of the gloves and so on the thumb it was all torn out right there and that's right where the thing jabbed and it right through right in there it was just naked right there so sort of sound like my husband oh we'll see you must be an awesome guy <laughs> oh. where's the kitty cat i'm not sure he sleeps in the weirdest places so I'm not positive. Microwave isn't coming until May. I'm not even sure. It's not. There's not even an estimate anymore. Uh, they had estimated Wednesday, and then they uh, and then it said next Wednesday, and then I was like, "Where is it? I don't see any estimates. It's not on my Alex device on my recent things." And I looked, and it says, "You need to approve. There's a delay on this item. You need to approve it, or it's going to be your order's going to be canceled." And I was like, "What? I didn't even see it." And it's scrolled down way far away because I ordered it a while ago. And uh, so I approved it, and now it just says no estimated date. And it's you click on it, it's out of stock. doesn't say when it's going to be in stock. I think they're extremely popular is what it is. And we are now roughing without a microwave. And I'm kind of enjoying roughing it without a microwave. I mean, I, I'm very much into appreciating things. I think appreciating things is the key to life. And I think anytime you're ever 
sad or upset every time without fail, it can probably be cured by appropriate level of an appreciation. And actually the whole story of how I, I came to this, I actually have a whole video about this on my other channel. I need to update it. Um, although it's hard to be, I can be more appreciative these days. But um, it all started over a microwave. Actually the last two, a couple microwaves ago that we had, um, our microwave broke and we needed a new one. And the microwave that we got didn't have a quick minute. You had to actually go one o o start, and I remember being so irritated. I was like, "I hate this microwave. It's so much slower. I had to go one o o start," and then it hit me that, "Oh my gosh, I get to warm up food with no fire, with no chance of burning it, in seconds," and it's just an amazing thing. And I'm complaining about having to push three buttons instead of one button, and um. I realized, oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? I'm so pathetic. And then I realized, then I started appreciating. I was like, I'm so grateful to have a microwave. And that totally changes how, how you look at life. And I then appreciated the microwave the rest of my life rather than being irritated about a microwave. And so I think that's a great way to live your life. And, you know, if you appreciate things, it's harder to be down. You bought your car a harness and a leash? Man, that must be crazy. <laughs> Maybe your cat? That's funny. That's so unlike Amazon. I think this is a new thing. I don't. I never even saw them advertised. Did anybody see commercials for an Amazon microwave? I didn't. It, I was just happened to be looking for one, and there's this microwave, this Alex uh, microwave, and I thought, where did this come from? I had never heard of this. And so I immediately checked it out and write, this sounds like something I want to be a part of. And I ordered it. And then they were all of a sudden back ordered for all uh, to get out. I think it might have been a really new thing. And uh, even in my life, I sometimes feel sad that I've been so sad. Obviously, you're going to be sad about disastrous things that happen in your life. That's just going to happen. But I have an amazing paid-for house, paid-for cars. I'm debt-free. I have nine wonderful kids. They're the cutest kids I've ever seen in my entire life. I've got a wonderful yard. I live in one of the best communities in the entire world. And the greatest countries in the world, no offense to other countries, everybody thinks their country is the best. Um, and I just, we have, that's such a great life, and that I can be so upset about some things, even though they're very big things. I know I still, I go up and down still, it still waves, but um, I need to be appreciative as much as I can be. That doesn't mean you don't feel bad, you don't feel down things, but counting your blessings goes a long way. I don't see any commercials either. Maybe there are commercials. Canceling and buying something different. Three months later, they were sent into the drawer for free. Oh, there you go. I thought that it's not a ninja microwave. Yeah, that would have been nice. I don't think they have one of those. I could phase my microwave out. No telling what damage the waves are doing to us. Oh, everything's doing damage to us. What, do you want to live forever? To, to borrow from... Uh, uh, maybe, I bet you Marcus has seen that. He, for some reason, me and Marcus have a lot in common. He li every game he lists is a game I play. I've had my ring... I, had, I, I was sitting in the library, and uh, you were there, Andy, and... Um, my phone started to ring. I think, oh my god, I canceled it because I, I didn't want to, you know, the phone to ring in the thing. But I realized, oh my gosh, there might be somebody that actually knows what my ringtone is. I've had this ringtone for probably ten years, and I've never had anybody say, "Hey, I know that ringtone." But someday.
Rays from the sun damage us. That's true. You know what stinks? Boiling water on a fire outside. That would stink. You want to melt butter on a fire? You got to start a fire and go melt butter on it? That would stink. So, that's the best thing about you. You're such a positive person. Uh, both you and Andreas pass it on to your wonderful kids. Oh, well, thank you. Seems to be much happier. That is great. Well, those things will do that to you, I suppose. Maybe worth buying a cheap one while you wait for the fancy one. Yeah, someone left a comment, and I thought I've been, I've been thinking about that real seriously. Then I thought, now I'm thinking at this particular moment, what's wrong with me that I can't wait a little bit longer without magical miracle microwaves to cook things? We're just cooking more stuff on the stove. We've almost, apart from melting butter and warming up things like cinnamon rolls. I mean, cinnamon rolls, you can't eat old cinnamon rolls without a microwave. And um, and uh, heating up tortillas, a few things like that. There, there, there wasn't a lot of other uses for it. So I'm kind of liking what we're at. So Marcus will know it. I think he will. I think he will. It's obscure, sort of, anyways. And he, I think he'll know the game, even if uh, he doesn't know the exact level. He might, though. It'd be super fun to th to, to see. I'd be surprised if he didn't. Because me and him got along in the same games. It's pretty funny. Watch it for years and never comment. Your family makes me happy. From Saskatchewan. Oh, wow. Thanks, Tara Lynn. Is that right? Tara Lynn? Terry Lynn? That's awesome. I'm so glad that you made a comment tonight. I'm glad that we make you happy. That's exciting. Has Eden been doing some cooking? Yep, tonight. Eden prepared... Um, she made the macaroni and cheese side, and she made the, uh, what was the other thing? Oh, she warmed up the corn. She cooked the corn, and so, yeah. Even natural things damage our bodies. We're, built for, we're, not built, we're built for eternity, not here, though. Yeah, absolutely. We're all dying. The second you start being born, you start to die. I used to say, living causes dying. I remember the exact moment when I decided I wasn't going to worry about that kind of stuff anymore. It, you think it was when I was with Andrea, but it was not. I was at a gas station pumping gas, and it was uh, I was sitting outside, and it, a thing came on the radio that I was listening to, and it said um, that they just realized that using an electric shave razor causes cancer. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm dying of cancer. I'm not giving up my electric razor. It's way too easy and enjoyable. So screw it. And then from that on, then on out, I, I stopped caring what causes cancer. Now, don't get me wrong. If someone gives me a pill and says, hey, this causes cancer, do you want it? I'm not going to gobble it down. I'm going to do my best to stay away from things whenever I have the opportunity. But I'm not going to worry very much because I know that God's in control of our life, not me. And I can exercise every day and chew my food 25 times without uh, before I swallow and drink a gallon of water every day and stay away from all these cancer-causing agents and only eat organic and pesticide-free everything, and then God would be like, watch this. I'll get them get killed by getting hit by a truck. And all of that was worthless. So, you know, it's God's in control, and I think that we, we should stop trying to make ourselves in control of our lives. That doesn't mean we do stupid things and we ingest poison and we don't try to eat healthy. I'm not saying that. That's not my point. My point is do good things and don't worry about the little things and trust God for your life. That's what I'm saying. Cinnamon rolls. Uh, my mom's trick is slice in half and butter it and fry in a frying pan. Wait, been a microwave. Slice in half, butter, and fry in a frying pan. Well, maybe. I mean, I'm willing to try it. Slice it through like an English muffin. Huh. Oh. Lengthwise? Or with, oh, that's interesting. Is Grandma Kitty feeling better? Um, she's not. She's, yeah, she's still in pain, but she's going to be coming. She's not contagious anymore. So I think she's going to come tomorrow and help us out. I feel bad. I was supposed to be scoring more work, 
and I haven't scored a lot of work. It's been so busy. It's been so busy. My best friend did everything to avoid cancer. She wouldn't take Tylenol or do her hair with chemicals. She died of cancer two years ago. Can we just all admit, acknowledge the fact that we're all going to die? We're all here chatting here right now. Every single person in this chat, every single person will be dead in 100 years. All of us. So let's just accept that. And maybe some sooner than others... Uh, if we take out, I mean, natural causes is not the normal way to die. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, I don't know what how it actually breaks down, but it's not the only way to die, anyways. And and so let's just talk about how to live, and stop worrying about what's going to kill us, and start worrying about what we can do with the time that we've been given, and how we can take care of our families and help them to have awesome lives. What did everyday blue see? I missed something. I ran did everything to avoid cancer. She wouldn't take time and she died of cancer two years ago. Oh, I see. So, yeah, that does stink. Are we in a morbid mood? <laughs> no, Danielle. I'm not. I'm not. I'm back. I'm feeling pretty normal is what it is. So, Still play the Bible out loud all day? Um, yep. I just turned it down. It's right over here, actually. I just turned it down for the live stream. Uh, I think the effect this new lady has <laughs> looks good on you. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You got it. I'm, I'm surprised that more people aren't talking about it, but I guess uh, it's soaked in that I'm not going to be saying anything. I just cast iron circle put on the stove for eating tortillas. been my family since I was a kid. So much better microwave tortillas. I agree with that. Uh, Andrea always liked uh, just putting the tortillas right on the stove burner. And turn it on, and she heated it up that way. And that's kind of fun. Uh, there's other definitely tastier ways to do it. If you guys were on our live dinner, I, I warmed those tortillas up on the griddle, and they were a little too hot, and so it got a little crispy. But I loved it; it was tasty that way. So it's the best way to transfer anything to a new computer. I haven't bought one yet because I d dread transferring files and programs over. Um, I mean, I, there's a lot of techie ways I could tell you, but it's not worth. Uh, messing, buying special equipment to do it. So, I mean, getting yourself a nice big USB 3.0 flash drive is probably your best bet. Fill it up, transfer it over, copy it, repeat. No one wants to be attacked for asking. I'm not sure what we're talking about. I won't attack you, I promise. I just won't talk. To, I, I probably won't do it, but I see the relaxed look on your face. Happiness is contagious. That's the truth. In fact, you don't want to share too much time, but we will take any tidbits you will give us. Well, that's what I've been giving you, is tidbits. Probably all you're going to get. So, as I feel comfortable, I'll share more. Um, I'm happy to talk about the effect it's having. You can tell that I'm in a better mood. So, yeah, there's that. Um, so, it's one of those things that... Uh, I, I just care about her a lot, so I'm, I'm not going to, I'm going to protect her. The new hairdo gave it away. <laughs> uh, uh, well, it's not unrelated, so, yeah. I, I, take, I take the hints. I take the hints.
fancy meals. Yep, she's been helping me with meals, and I've had the best taste of home cooking so far that I've had in a long time. So, a couple people have asked the same question a couple times, and I, I'm seeing them all. I'm reading everything. I'm just uh, not going to uh, answer those ones. The um, you crack me up. People find if and when the time comes for us to you share so much with us, and it's unfair to a new person to be exposed. Then, uh, yeah, absolutely, I, I, I agree with you. It is unfair to them. So, I uh, I'm learning stuff. So I totally agree with you, Liam. Solly, why are you up? Asher's cleaning things up. I'm very proud. That's great. Uh, Solly, if you get out of bed again, you're going to have a demerit. There's always a reason. That's why I give you out of bed tickets. If you don't have any, you can't get out of bed. Okay? No, there's no getting out of bed unless you have a ticket. That's why I give you tickets. Will you still shave when you reach 75K followers? No. So I kind of soft pedaled that a little bit, so I I'm not shaving. So it would be bad for my health. <laughs> uh, there's no way on earth I'm going to be shaving. Apologize. It was different when I was when I was myself, by myself, guys. So, yep. Do you have to pay a fee to get in to see the Devil's Tower? There is a parking thing. There's a parking uh, fee. We bought the season pass. I don't remember how much it was. Uh, 30 bucks or 40 bucks. I don't remember. And uh, that'll give us a year of being able to get in without for free. So. I'm back on your words. Uh, I am. I am. I, I'm going to own it. I'm going to own it. When I said that, Andrea would have never let me say that because she didn't want me to shave either. It was, uh, I was only talking about it when there wasn't, when I, it was only me. It's not only me, so. Oh, that's sweet. That's good, Tom. A lot of just noisy, nosy personal questions being asked. Stay private. That's right, Diane. Exactly right. So I'm glad she's helping free some time up for you and helping you figure out the crockpot meals. That's so great. It is so great. I, it's funny. I, I, I've kind of shared this already, but I was so worried that I was going to, not worried. I was really nervous about coming home to crockpot smells because I, I, that always meant something. I never expected it. So I'd come home and the house would smell like crockpot smells and it reminded me that I'm taken care of. And and so I haven't had that. And it's not like I couldn't do crockpot meals, and I've even done a couple, but I don't recall it being an issue. Um, but I, coming home, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to come in, and it's going to smell different and not what I'm used to. And it's going to be, because it was not the way that I, we've ever cooked anything. It was different than we've ever cooked anything. And so... Right, this is this is it. This is a new smell. This is a new thing, and I was really expecting to not be doing well about it, but I was. It was great. It was a sweeter smell, and it was friendly, and it reminded me that I was taken care of. So, I 
Well, how all those children are great. I'm 207. Oh, that's awesome, Trisha. Our big families are fun. I missed a couple comments there. That's how it all starts. First, they're, they're forging out bed tickets. Next thing you know, they're printing fake $20 bills. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's the point of giving get-out-of-bed tickets. You give them permission to be out of bed, and then they can't get out of bed any of the times. So it's kind of turned into a 15-minute party for the kids at night, and and then they get out of bed anyways to do whatever they need to do. So I'm going to start. I haven't been enforcing it. I'm going to start cracking the whip. So. Imagine keeping your girlfriend private, Tom. Let's just say if I was getting involved with someone on YouTube channel, I'd stay out of it. Too many crazy jealous women out there stirring up trouble. That's exactly right. You've always been very level-headed, Danielle. Very level-headed. Very reasonable. I always like reading your comments. What crockpot meal did we have? So um, on, when was it? It was on Monday? Tuesday? No, Monday. Monday we had pork loin, and I don't think any of my kids are watching, right? So I can share. Yeah, can you share the pot pork recipe now? Yeah, it was actually really easy, which I mean I love stuff like that. So um, it was just a pork roast. It was a four and a half pound pork loin, and I uh, would put on oh a packet of onion soup. I just sprinkled the onion soup packet over it, and then. Um, mixed in some of our old standbys with our with what Andrea would do with the roasts, which was um, teaspoon of thyme or a tablespoon of thyme, teaspoon of thyme, teaspoon of oregano, and then some, a teaspoon of salt, I think it was. I could be getting it all wrong. Thank God she wrote it down for me, so I can, re I can refer to that. And then today we had chicken that I just put in the crock pot with a whole bottle of Italian dressing. And it it was it was nice. It was good. Maybe I missed something, but if you don't want to talk about it, which I understand, why well, acknowledge anything about the situation? Just keep people asking, because it's fun, and I, I like sharing with you guys somewhat. But on my terms, I guess you guys are all guessing, anyways. You guys, oh, Tom is smiling a lot. Oh, Tom isn't going live as much. You know, I mean, you guys are pretty smart, and I, I like you all. It, I, if it, it's just how it is. So it's my secret, and I can share what parts of it I want. <laughs> Meat, onion, soup, mix, cream, or mushroom soup, veggies. Anything will come out good if you start with those. Let's see. There you go. Devil's Tower video was awesome. The way you patiently answered all the kids' questions was great. Learned a lot about a really cool place I'm sure I'll never get to actually see. I really like that video. Um, it's not doing awesome. I mean, it's, it's, it's good. And I'm getting the comments on it are really positive. And everybody thought, oh, my gosh, this is so amazing. It's something very different. Uh, but it's not as popular. It's like our, it's, it's not a popular video, um, which is fine. Um, but I imagine maybe it's just a boring walking around Devil's Tower I thought maybe we'd do a vlog sometime. I'm not going to do it in the house and let everybody look around and pick apart every tiny little speck of dirt on something. Uh, but maybe we'll do a, um, a 360 live fire pit lunch or something. That might be fun. Um, Do you know who that person is? The same mean, hurtful, and ugly things, Tom. Um, you're talking about with the first r relationship. Or I'm not sure what you're, what you're referring to exactly. Maybe you can clarify. Um, but yeah.
This is partying guy who wants to. One of ten children. I had a wonderful childhood. Most of us don't get along now. Oh, well, that's sad. I'm sorry. I always wonder how things like that happen, I suppose. Claudia is next on the interview, but she doesn't know it. And uh, haven't done it yet. Know you very well. We've been through the good to the bad. We love and care for your family. Oh, thank you, Kim. That's absolutely true. Already seen your whole house. Just give us a tour. I'll give you a tour. We've had the tour video up there, but we do need to do an updated one. That takes much a little more planning, a lot more cleaning, <laughs> and organizing. And there's things that I still haven't finished, like the pantry it hasn't. I haven't finished. I don't want to say. I don't know. What, I don't know how to say it. It's has, it's going through changes, and there's things we got to get rid of, things we won't ever use again, um, things I don't know what they are, and I want to reorganize a little bit down there, and so I need to get that all done before we give a tour of it, so to speak. So, you're freaking miserable when you're single. I'm miserable in a relationship. <laughs> well, I think you've got me pegged. I think you've got me pegged. God didn't make me to be uh, single. Some people are totally happy with that. It's, it's not how I was built. 360 helmet doesn't seem comfortable to wear, though. <laughs> no. Um, speak, uh, speaking of uh, girlfriends, she thinks it's absolutely hideously hilarious with me wearing it. So um, I do it to tease her sometimes but so it's it is awkward and i'm sure everybody was staring at me and it gave me a, it made my neck hurt i i mean my i had to hold my head still but i don't have to because the, the system is worked out where it uses the horizon to level things and it i irons it out so you don't actually have to stay super still uh but it still is awkward so entirely possible I'm really surprised. I was worried about you last week and you were really upset on the week before. Yeah. That's me. I was worried too, but I think I remember saying the troll contacted the youth group with gross accusations. Oh, that's, yeah. That's probably what the other lady was talking about. Said, yeah, it was, that was a, a bad deal. The, I'm not going to talk about that situation right now. Um, You'll see that video is not up right now, and uh, I'm not going to. So, but I think you guys are on to something with that. So, Tom only has time to himself. That Claudia's afraid, of, not afraid of the camera or talking. She's not afraid of anything. Um, Claudia is so funny. I was talking about her today, um, actually to Andy. Uh, about how she's so funny because she's kind of... I, I, I will never call Claudia a tomboy because she's not a tomboy. She's the most feminine girl you'll ever meet. But she's, I don't know, tough, maybe? She's, she doesn't care what you think. She gives me more kisses on my cheek than ever. She All she wants to do is wear high heels, paint her nails... Put on makeup and dress up her hair and be a princess. She loves all of that, but she's just so funny. I, I don't know how to describe it. I wouldn't call her a tomboy by any stretch, but she's something. Keep going with Andrew, this, Andrew, that. Keep in your in and your in private. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, anybody that wants me to never mention Andrea's name is not somebody I, I would want to be with. So maybe there's some sort of a rule that I haven't learned, but um, I understand the mentality, and obviously I care very much about her, and I'm going to uh, take care of my my girlfriend and not, you know, I want her to feel 
like she's not. I don't want her to feel like she's in Andrea's shadow by any stretch. But I'm not going to not talk about her. So. You're having a great time keeping your secret. I'm enjoying watching everyone ask questions and getting crumbs for answers. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be the thing they talk about, but I mean that's all right. I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna tip my hand more than I want to, and uh, that's not because I hate you guys. That's because I love other people in my life. So, Not a tomboy, but it's outspoken in herself. She'll be a great leader one day. That's probably true. She's full of life and dances to the beat of her own drum. Love her. Yep, that's absolutely true, too. Groovy with an attitude. That's true. Yeah, and yeah, um, that's the couple that moved to town recently. It's Marcus and Andy. And um, she's very nice. And I haven't got to meet him yet, but I've talked to him a lot on the, in the chat, and he knows his video games. So, I mean, he's got to be good. So. His kids are so cute. They all look exactly alike. It's so funny. I love it. It's like they just took the kids out of time. And, you know, I feel like you do some fun trick photography. It's a lucky lady because you're a man of character. Oh, that's nice, Kelly. Can you not mention Andrea? She's your children's mother. She's part of your life. And there's room for a new person and making her feel special. That's absolutely true, Lee. Um, you're on a roll. Whenever I start <laughs> praising comments, everybody thinks that's the person, which I found hilarious. fans of the channel before they move to your neighborhood yeah they talked about it if you go, out, go back a couple live videos they said that we're moving to we're moving to Moorcroft and I was like yeah sure sure someone's moving to Moorcroft and they totally were and it was so fun and I couldn't believe it and and then they homeschool uh, they're a great family uh, godly people it's a, it's, it's a, Moorcroft came up a lot with that with that so thank you mac and cheese simply because you mentioned you had it for dinner thanks tom there you go you're welcome mm. judah's teeth have been ready for braces for some time um there just been other dental issues with kids that needed to be taken of care of first thomas had two root canals that's four thousand dollars and um, that, that's okay. Uh, and I've had, there's been lots of other dental issues need to be taken care of that are more pressing, honestly. So uh, we actually have to go back in and get reevaluated for his braces because the plan they came up with expired or whatever. But it's going to happen probably soon. I think we've got all the major dental things out of the way. So after you know, the bank account recovers a little bit, then that's what we'll do. So, I'm not going to share too much about Marcus and Andy either because I care about them a lot too. So I don't want to mess them up either. I'll just say they're good people. Andrea is easy to love. She was beautiful inside and out. I'm sad that you, you found your channel just as the flower fell. Ooh, you're referencing that video. Yep. That almost got me. I had to uh, get a get a bit of work myself. So expensive, it really is.
Oh, so it's been a nice, nice week. Um, Grandma Kitty hasn't been here for a week or two, and so uh, we've been managing, but uh, we will be glad to have her back. We miss her. Not only getting seeing her is nice, but she was helped so much with school. And uh, <laughs> the insurance you have is what you pay, and if people help each other out, is there a similar for dental? No, there's no dental for what we have. We, I just, I just pay. There's no, we don't have dental insurance. Thomas just got dental insurance, though. I, I think he, he's being very responsible. He's like becoming a man. Like he saw how much we had to pay for his teeth, and he felt uh, like he should be the one taking care of that stuff, and he offered to do it. He said, I can pay for that, Dad. And I said, no, you're my son, and you're living here, and I it probably need to be done for a while. I'm, I want to take care of it. And so I, I paid for it. But he went and found dental insurance through his work and called a rep to come talk to him and got himself dental insurance. So I'm super proud of him. He's a big boy. So he's got dental insurance now. So is that a new park you went to in the recent video? Uh I'm having a, I'm having a brain freeze. Let's see what what park do we go to? Oh, you talking about Devil's Tower? Is that the park you're talking about? Oh, the one on the other one. No, that's not a different park. Um, that's the other side of the other park. So the park we go to on birthdays or when we eat sometimes, and when the kids uh, have a birthday and we go eat at the park, that's the same park, but it's a big park. There's actually several sections, and you'll have heard the kids ask a few times. They want to go across the bridge. So if you go across the bridge, across the lake, on the other side, there's different toys. And so those are those ones. So. Ah, some people are kind of clever. Here in New Zealand, dental care is free until the age of 18. Well, oh, that's awesome. I'll bet you your taxes are higher than mine, though. Nothing's really free. Oh, hey, Juliana. I'm good, Cindy. Oh, I didn't see if you said that. She's going to let annoying people think they're right. That's exactly what I did. Hey, Jasmine. Good night. Uh, I don't know what to call you. LML off. <laughs> um, I, I, that was not a plug to send us money for Judas Braces. That's not at all what that is. So, uh, we, we will have, we'll have the money. It just, It'll be fine. So we're we're okay. <laughs> Salvation was not free. Jesus paid the price for us. I tell my kids nothing's free. Look twice. No one tells you that. That's pretty true. That's pretty true. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Judah is 16. Pretty sure. Pretty strange seeing you in a casual shirt. Yep, you guys probably get more used to it. I'm apparently hotter in casual shirts, so now you know why I'm wearing a casual shirt. Of course, not that I want to look hot for you guys, but maybe for somebody out there who could be watching. But she wouldn't say anything, because that would be bad. Oh. Peeing and pooping machine. That's about all they are, Danielle. Where the doggies are. I'm uh, uh, 16, I'm pretty sure, although I have 11 children, and 33 to 6, I can't remember all their ages at times either. Made my night. Well, yeah, I, I used to be proud of that fact. I'm proud of the fact that I have such a big family that names sometimes get crossed when I'm heated, or that I can't remember their birthdays all exactly right. I was proud of that. And then... And Andrea had them down, and she used to get the biggest kick out of asking me to add their birthdays because I wouldn't get it. And um, but now I feel like somebody should know them, so there shouldn't be nobody that knows their birthdays besides them. So I'm working extremely hard to get them down. I've got all their ages down, pretty sure. Oh, Jews 15 until next month. Well, see, that's what I get. I happen to know with 20 questions, you can reveal a lot by how you answer and how you ask and which questions you ask. So I'm not going to answer. I'm not, this isn't a Q&A. This is a I volunteer what I want type things. And if I'm intrigued, maybe I'll say something. But generally, we can get back to uh, regularly scheduled stuff like... Uh, what else is going on right now? You guys all opened up due to COVID. I heard somebody say today that Wyoming is uh, leading the country in face-to-face -face schooling. So I guess that's good. They got more people doing real school than anywhere else in the country. The baby boy is 46 today. That's a big baby. <laughs> Happy birthday to him. Driving papers. Yeah, he's been studying he's been studying his uh his manual. So he's he's learning all the rules of the road so he can take his test. Um we're still getting Asher. Asher is trying to clear his schedule of work again, work ahead and do extra work so he can go out with me on Friday on doing jobs. So that's neat. Yes, we've been doing school in Casper here all year, hoping to get rid of masks in our district, at least make it voluntary. Oh, that'd be cool. I guess schools, yeah, school can make their own rules, can't they? I'm assuming they, they're still going that way, even though there's no mandate anymore. 
Well, our COVID numbers have been crazy high since January, but bad since August. Uh, I, I have I have a job that I, I fix computers. That's my business is I fix computers. So he wants to go out on jobs with me and fix computers. He's been learning uh, and driving me at jobs while he was taking his driver's training. After he got enough daytime hours, he kind of stopped doing it. Um, but he wants to start doing it again. He's looking. He's definitely looking towards working for the business and maybe taking it over someday. So that's exciting. No, I haven't heard of that channel, Best Life. Not a server get approved by the health department or an extending the mandate to the 30th. I feel like he's going to keep extending. I thought there was no mandate anymore. I thought he already removed it. <sighs> Thomas is still working on some of his school. Uh, him working uh, full time has been made more challenging. He's just about done. So, favorite color is blue. I love blue. As many of you know, I'm a sucker for blue foil. So, if you want to buy something, put it by the registers and wrap it in blue foil, and I'll buy anything. Lifted the bars, restaurants, and gyms. I thought he lifted all of them. I don't. I guess I I, I didn't know all that. You probably would know more if you're in the school district. So, uh, huh? Hope you give Asher a priority to give his driving done before siblings. He's been so patient. He's doing great. Yeah, we're going to finish Asher off before we do anything else. So, Movie theaters open. All our movie theaters are open. And the new Mortal Kombat movie is coming out, I think, next week. So... Super excited. I'm trying to think what else was going around. He did a lot more people in the building, so that's good. Well, that is good. I need people to make sure they're subscribed. I thought I was, and I realized that I wasn't anymore. I'm not sure how that happened. Uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed, double check. If you're not subscribed, just subscribe, because YouTube does go through and call accounts, and I haven't figured out why they do it. I get that message every now and then. People say, I thought I was subscribed, and I'm not anymore, and and they needed to resubscribe. And so I'm not sure how that happens. It has to do with how frequently you click on things or do things that they might... What? Oh. Hair looks a little different. Oh, did you catch that? Yep. If you're not subscribed, you should be. You subscribe. It's, it's great. It's super fun. It's the funnest thing you'll ever do in this life. <laughs> Okay, maybe not, but it's a good thing to do. Oh, what else we got going on? I got to think about what we've been doing. So I got a, uh, we put 25 fish in the pond because our fish died over the winter, if you haven't been following lately. Uh, I don't know why they died over the winter. It wasn't a matter of cold um, because uh, the koi can live to extremely cold temperatures. 
Um, the ice was open. I'm wondering if there maybe was too much bacteria of some kind in there, or maybe there wasn't enough gases able to exp to get out. Um, so, but we lost, I think, six of them of the 25 we put in. So, drawings behind you look new too. Oh, yeah, uh, these are Sophia. She loves to draw daddy things. I left it there right where she hung it. Um, I think that's spaceships and uh, that says me, you, that says you over there, me and you, and there's a sun and all kinds of things going on. It's super cute. I'm very proud of it. Oh no. There you go. Is your water in the pond not good? No, I don't think that's that. I, I mean, I, I've been doing something a little different. I wanted to leave the pump in there and not have to take it out and possibly have it freeze. So I've been moving the heater closer to the filter box. And so I'm wondering if there wasn't enough uh, surface area for gases to escape. I'm not absolutely positive. They, were, they did good all winter. And then one day they just died, so I'm not sure. Yep, I uh, I, I, I mentioned that best life. I it does sound interesting. Man, Josie's get in here. Oh, hey, Aunt Josie. Not sure why you think guys would tell tell who, who his special friend is out the way the previous one was treated by the viewers. Yeah, you got that right, Aunt Josie. You got that right. How many of the new fish died? I think we lost six. Lost six. I got a nice uh, muck vacuum. I haven't been able to use it. I ordered, actually ordered it last year, and I didn't get it opened to use it before winter came. So we've got a brand new muck vacuum that vacuums the bottom of the pond and gets all the muck and gross stuff out of it because that muck turns into algae. The algae causes extra growth. The growth makes it look like pea soup. So I'm trying to get rid of all that stuff. Those in the past videos, you very rarely wear shorts. Any reason for that? Mostly because my legs would blind people. That's pretty much the reason. <laughs> I like shorts. I have no problem wearing them. But I, haven't, I, don't, I don't wear shorts all that often. I'm pretty pasty, apart from my farmer's tan, which you can kind of catch. Aren't there fish that eat algae? Well, yeah. Actually, koi and goldfish, they're bottom feeders, so they eat all the junk at the bottom of the pond. But it's not enough. I mean, you can get... We tried putting a Placostomus in there once. They cannot survive the winter. Uh, he was in hog heaven for a while, and, and then we tried... We were going to take him out before it got too cold, but we didn't make it. And so... I would wear shorts to the beach, and I don't really mind. I don't care if people see me in shorts. I just don't do it that often. Plus, it's cold a lot. I'll probably wear them in the summertime. How big will the fish get? A uh, koi can get to be two foot long. All the all the koi we put in our butterfly koi. Oh, we 
Yeah, we got the fish vacuum. Um, I got some new benches for outside uh, the shop entrance there. Andrea had gotten some wrought iron benches, and they were completely rusted out. If anybody had sat in them, they would have been they would have just collapsed. And uh, so we cleaned those out. I offered that as a service project. Asher took that up, and he cleaned out all the old ones and cleaned up there. And so we got some new ones. We're going to put those together soon and get those out there. How many people we got in the in, in chat? Mine says zero again. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Turkeys are coming around. They are. They are. They've split. There were four male turkeys. That's kind of the Moorcroft turkeys. They're the. They're, it's really fun. Everybody knows who they are in town. They're they're well known figures. They come to the grocery store. They visit people at the post office. It's really hilarious. Uh, but they've split. There's two turkeys that are male that are pretty much still nice, and there's two that are just turned into jerks. Because it's that time of year. So you don't walk away from them too fast or they'll come after you. So. Okay, thanks guys. 480, 474, something in there. Any suggestions on graphic tablets? Need one for cartoon work. Ooh. Uh, if I really dug into my notes, I could find a really high quality stylus that I can recommend. But that's my extent uh, of what I could recommend for some serious drawing tablets. You'd be better knowing it than I would. I know that you get a good one and everybody, you're not even necessarily a good one, even a crappy one, and you'll love it. So, Yeah, hit the like button. Ah, so what else has been going on? <laughs> wow, two feet. How big were your first set of fish? Um, we've had them several times. We've lost. We go through things that loses fish all the time. I, I, I've never had, this is only the third year we've had a skimmer. And it's the second year I've had a UV filter. Uh, which pure uh, clarifies the water using ultraviolet light. Um, I'm tending on getting more better ways to maintain the water quality. That's why I got a muck vacuum. I, I would like to keep fish longer. I was really wanting to keep that last batch of fish. It's Andrea bought it, um, bought them, but heck, I can buy them the same way. But even after one season, they were a foot long. So um, they grow really fast when there's a lot of algae to be eaten. So. New iPad Pro with the pens here is so awesome. My daughter's high school uses them. I think they're not talking about a tablet like that, but more of a, 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 a stylus for a computer, right? Where a little pad that you draw on and it transfers it to the computer. I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. Because uh, no screen can capture the resolution that you need for serious artwork. So you need a, a, a full blown computer. How's the bunny? Bunny is doing really great. Super cute and fun. Yeah, they got big really fast. We was really sad to see that they died. Really sad. So I, I, I need to get the muck out of there. Leaves have a tendency, especially in the fall. Leaves get in there, and leaves, as they deteriorate and break down, they release gases into the water, and you need enough surface area to dissipate those gases. Um, water stops during the winter time because it will, you have a problem with the with the uh, the stream getting ice in it, and then building up a dam. And then all the water leaking out of the whole pond. Um, so maybe I should work into putting a, a just a fountain in. Just a fountain that circulates from inside. Just to keep the water aerated and moving, even in the wintertime. Maybe that would work. And Josie uh, and understands. I 
I forgot the password to get into it. Can I pass the password and how can I get into it? Thanks. Uh, send me a message on Facebook and I'll give you some point directions there. Chosen is incredible. The Chosen is amazing. Super excited. We're going to watch that season two, episode one, on, uh, on on Sunday for church. What have we got tomorrow? Tomorrow's live shopping night. And then we got... What's going on on Friday? Nothing. Friday's my fun day. I usually play games on Friday. I haven't been playing many games lately. Different shirt tonight. Yep. He's not one to know. I've not chosen two yet. I haven't watched it either. I don't know. I have chosen also. I got their app. Yeah, it's super good. I like uh, uh, fall is my favorite season. But I like them all. That's one thing about Wyoming is you really get to see all the seasons. I realized when I lived in California, I hated it. There was two seasons, hot and hotter. And I hated that. And so I used to like it whenever it rained. That was something different. I enjoyed it. And now rain, that's why rain is my favorite. You know, I love the rain. Love the rain. Especially thunderstorms in the summertime. Oh, it's awesome. But um, so getting to have the hot fun in the summer, you know, the beautiful colors and the cool weather in the fall. Even the snow is fun. The kids love it. Build snowmen. I don't like the, the driving in it, but whatever. Then we get it. Spring isn't as long as I like it to be, but it's still a very fun time. Exciting. True, Saturday is a real Sabbath, and Catholics change it. Um, yeah, um, it, it's true that Sabbath Sabbath means seventh. Saturday is the Sabbath. I don't know if Catholics change it. They do take credit for it, though. Catholic Church takes credit for uh, Sunday being the Sabbath, and it's probably it probably is. It, um, ultimately, I mean, the Church went Catholic pretty fast. So um, I always heard it was Constantine that changed it. He definitely wasn't Catholic. He supposedly had a vision of the sun superimposed over a cross and this sign conquer, all that stuff. Um, I don't know who gets credit for it, but it's not the Sabbath. I don't think Sunday is the Sabbath. I don't think anybody should say Sunday is the Sabbath because it's not. So ultimately, the Sabbath isn't something we need to worry about anymore. That'll make all my Seventh day Adventist friends mad. I'm sorry. I, didn't, I should have said it more diplomatically. I apologize. Read Hebrews 3 for the Sabbath information. No, we don't do the Sabbath. We observe every day alike. Those, uh, Hebrews 3 says that those were a shadow. Actually, that's not the verse that says a shadow, but it does say the Sabbath rest pointed towards our rest in heaven. That's what it's about. And now we can enter there because of what Jesus did for us. So we don't need to the shadow anymore. Yeah, let's keep the Sabbath holy, isn't it? The sin we worship on Sunday. Well, I mean, you should. Uh, we talked about it on our last uh, Bible study. You should check some of that out. But um, the Bible says that by calling this covenant new, He has made the first one obsolete, and what is obsolete and outdated is ready to vanish. And we learned in Ephesians two 
last night that the, the law with its commandments has been abolished. That's what it says in, in Corinthians or in Ephesians chapter 2. So those things are, are gone. That doesn't mean that we're free, we're free to go out and break them. But that's we, now we have the new covenant in his blood. And we love uh, every na our neighbor as ourselves and love the Lord our God with our heart, soul, strength, and mind. I'm not moving to Texas. Yeah, I used to live in Texas. Live in El Paso. Vegas is hotter than Texas. Vegas is one of the hottest places in the world. I mean, I don't know if that's true or not. It probably is. Maybe, I don't know. I, I've driven through there a few times. I remember stopping off at the gas station, and it had to park. The particular one we were at, you had to park way far away. Um, and I walked from my car to the building, and the heat coming up off the asphalt was going to make me pass out. It was so intense, way hotter than anywhere else. I mean, just that black asphalt. Is, oh, man, I'll never forget. Little girls going through so much. I'm wondering how you stay strong for your kids. I love watching how you keep going for your kids. I'm not always all that strong, but... Um, you just try as hard as you can. You do the best you can with what you have, Brittany. I'm so sorry. Chosen is filmed in Texas. Oh, I don't know that I knew that. That's cool. I remember that particular day. Uh, it said it was 135 degrees. And I was like, what? Um, it may not be accurate, but that was the sign on the, that was the temperature on the sign at the gas station. I live in Palm Springs, California. It's hotter than Vegas. Oh, really? I've been to Palm Springs. Maybe it gets hot there. I'm sure it does get hot. California gets hot everywhere, but I uh, I saw that as hot as that was the hottest I've ever seen. Every time I've tried to fry an egg on the sidewalk, it didn't work. It was just an egg on the sidewalk. <laughs> Jesus' words, he came to fulfill the law and the prophets, not to abolish. Um, that's not exactly what it says, uh, but I, I mean, I don't know how you take the rest of those um, those verses. I mean, we, we just read it. I'm going to read it to you. Um, uh, Ephesians 2. For he himself is our peace, who has made the two groups one, and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility, by setting aside in his flesh the law 
with its commands and regulations. That's, that version is not even as strong as the one we were reading last time. And that's uh, that's in Ephesians 2.15. And Hebrews 8.13 says, By calling this covenant new, he has made the first one obsolete. So the law, the Ten Commandments, the Old Covenant, is obsolete. And what is obsolete and outdated is ready to vanish. And it did vanish when it was destroyed, and the Ark of the Covenant was destroyed in 70 A.D. at the hands of Titus. Now, again, that doesn't mean it's, you're free to go and, and, and sin. That just means that's not what we're under anymore. That's why it says, Therefore, let nobody judge you by what you eat or drink, or with regards to a new moon festival, a, relig a, a new moon celebration, a festival, or a Sabbath day. Such things were a shadow of the things to come, but its reality is in Christ. So, He set these aside by fulfilling them for us, by keeping them perfectly. He did keep them perfectly. He had to keep them perfectly. But that was when the Old Covenant was still in place. Don't forget it also says, He took away the handwriting of ordinances which was against us. He took it away and nailed it to the cross. That's in Colossians. Those writing of ordinances, that's the law. That's the Old Covenant. And it was nailed to the cross. He did keep them perfectly. And we should keep, we should not sin also. But, you know, they, they the Sabbath thing, again, Hebrews 3, there's a whole chapter on it. On what the real Sabbath is about. It's about our promise of eternal life. You don't get much stronger wording than outdated and um, obsolete. Christopher, I uh, I don't mean anything by that. We don't. I don't acknowledge them. And so, when we talk about them in the chat, um, they are. It's there forever for everybody to see and a replay over and over again. Everybody wants to know what happened and where it was, and it's why these people do things. They do them so they can be famous, so they can get some attention, and um, I don't like to give them attention, so I just ignore them. If, it wasn't just you. If you look back, I deleted everybody who mentioned anything about that incident. So don't take it personally at all. Whoa, um, that's a lot of uh, bedtime for you. Why are you doing that, California grown Carissa? I'm going to put you, I think you're having a problem. I'm going to put you in a timeout. <laughs> yes, I was very grateful for what you said, Christopher. I hope I hope you didn't I didn't scare you off. Oh, that's probably a bot. If that wasn't your account, because I put you in a timeout and you're already talking again. So um, there's a bot program that it copies what people say. So oh, I think you're on the right page as me, Joyce B. I maybe I thought you were saying something other than what you were saying. Did Christopher get my message? I hope he did. I didn't want to... Uh, I didn't mean anything at all. I don't want you to think that I was talking... I was doing... I was thinking you what you did was bad or wrong. It's just how I handle people that do those things. Good. Okay, good.
good, good. Is a troll a YouTube term? Is someone that disagreeable or mean-spirited? I think the term comes from the, uh, the idea of a troll under the bridge. So, um, you know, the old proverbial troll that sits there and preys upon any weary travelers that happens to come across it. That's generally it. Hey, Lynn, good to see you. That's interesting. Oh, we haven't killed the boss and don't starve. Haven't. You say, as long as you all have me, enjoy your family. We enjoy you too. I'm doing great. Billy Goat's Gruff, is that the first story? That's a few stories that have a troll under a bridge. It's Billy Goat Gruff might be the first one. So, Your water wants to running in the background. Is it the dishwasher? No, it could be the microphone. Uh, why does that happen sometimes? I haven't figured it out. What if I do it like this? Is that any better? I don't say the G word or anything yet. I don't think that was probably you, uh, California Girl and Carissa. There are bots that take people's account information and uh, and their name, and then they make an account, and then it repeats things they say so they can spam people later on. That's all I can think of. Angel of the Lord. Um, I, I'm not familiar with that particular argument, Michelle, but I can tell you that the word angel, it just means messenger. It just means messenger. There is no word angel. That's an English-only word. The Greek word is angelos, and so at that, we've taken that word out of its original intent and context and redefined it as a new thing, angel being one of God's servants with wings and a harp and whatever flies around. That's what, they, that's what angel means now. But the word angelos just means a messenger. For instance, John the Baptist in Luke is called an angelos, a messenger of the Lord to make way straight the path for the Lord. John the Baptist is not an angel. So therefore the word angel, even in Hebrew, it's the same thing. It means messenger. So sometimes there are messengers. Or sometimes God sends a message. So... I got rid of them. They're pretty funny. Oh, we do have them. Anastasia.
possible that something is clearly so upsetting to God, we who are closest to him can be so unconcerned like the night Jesus was betrayed and went to the Garden of Gethsemane. Where in the Bible does it say people shouldn't do drugs? Is it incumbent in the Bible about not drinking? It doesn't say. If you're looking to the Bible to tell you not to do drugs, you won't find it. So, uh, it may not be a good idea, but, I mean, it's, the Bible's not necessarily a health book. Now, I don't, there are a lot of people will do things like, there's a special Ezekiel seven grains bread, and it tries to find all the grains that supposedly they use in that day, or, or maybe you should take a diet like someone else in the Bible. The Bible is not about those things. It's not, that's not its purpose. It doesn't say everything about everything in the world. So. They are on here, Anastasia. I didn't do anything there. Do home church? Do you preach or do you watch church on TV? We do different things. So I, I'm. We like to do Bible study is more our kind of a style where we read the Bible together, we share things, and we that speak to us, and we all talk about them together. I think being on uh, talking like that is a way to do it. So. It's one of those things that uh, we think it's it's nice to be able to all have a a, a gift. The body of Christ all has different gifts that they can use um, to strengthen one another and encourage people. I think we all should be able to share and, and talk. I think that's a neat way to do it. And um, we sometimes watch videos or other sermons sometimes from people. I, I'm not a huge sermon guy. Um, a lot of times a sermon just is a Bible story that's watered down. And are a Bible. I mean, it's not, they do have their place, and there's some really good ones, and I enjoy them. But I used to kind of watch, and people would give a sermon sometimes, and maybe you have a whole sermon, and there's only two Bible verses in the whole thing. And a lot of times, it's it, it's things like, "Hey, love your neighbor as yourself," and that means that you should be nice to your neighbor, and you should do good things. And I don't mean to make light of any of that, but a lot of times, those are the things we should know. I think that we should be studying and getting close to the Lord and having a relationship with Him all on our own. And church is, I think, church, the purpose in our day and age, it's not like it was in the, in the, in the New Testament when they were just didn't know who Jesus was and they were spreading His message. Instead, they were, uh, you know, the point is, I think, it's about the fellowship. It's about encouraging one another and being there for each other and praying for each other and worshiping together. Um, I think those are the neat things. And so I don't necessarily think going to a place where you get a lecture is the point of church. You know, there's a, there's a, there's a verse that says, let us not for, forget, forsake assembling as is the habit of some. Um, and the idea behind that verse is while you're having church, don't forget to assemble sometimes like some have forgotten to do. And I think now we assemble a lot, but maybe sometimes we forget to have church. That's just my, my own little, saying but i think uh i don't think the purpose is necessarily what we think that it is namely sing for a certain amount of time uh have a sermon for a certain amount of time don't go over the clock uh, make sure that there maybe there's a passive plate maybe there's an altar call uh maybe there's a potluck 
uh, those types of things. Those are all good things, and that's not a bad formula, I suppose. But uh, I think church is something deeper than that. I'm glad it's not worldly passion. But yeah, religion, the religion that pleases God is to, you know, absolutely the self-control upright and godly lives in the present age. Absolutely. Look after orphans and widows in their, their distress. Thank you, Sandy. Where do you draw the line, though? You aren't necessarily sober-minded if you take after you take Benadryl. Oh, are we still talking about that that stuff? How do you answer the question? How do we trust the Bible when, we, when respect to translate or translate the same passage so differently? Well, that's where you look at the original. I think we should all learn a little bit of Greek, and so you can actually look at the original Greek. And for instance, in that word angelos, if you look at every single word, place in the Bible where the word angelos is used, you'll get a very good idea of how the Bible uses the term. And that's a way you can understand things. So I think generally translations are, are, are correct. There's definitely some bias added in on certain verses. Reference sorcery in the term pharma. Uh, yeah, the Bible I see the drugs as a form of sorcery, which is forbidden. That's just a weak argument. It is just a weak argument. Um, the Bible just says to say not to drink it in excess. Um, but I, I don't think you should use the Bible. For instance, what does the Bible have to say about cloning people or DNA modification? And maybe you're going to try to find a verse that somehow references that, maybe. And maybe you can say, maybe this verse talks about. Uh, beating my body, uh, beating my flesh, and I, this flesh I give to you, maybe that's talking about DNA. And the Bible doesn't speak to everything in the world. So, um, for instance, uh, well, I, I'm not going to bring up that topic. There's lots of things the Bible doesn't talk about. That doesn't mean that they are or are not wrong. There's sins, you know, the, James says, whoever knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin for them. There's nothing in the Bible that says not that you have to do the good you see. And so sin is, I think, more, possibly more abstract. Especially Romans 14 is another good chapter that spreads those things out for us. So I'm glad, Michelle. It sucks to lose somebody. Drug use, I mean, the Bible doesn't say anything about smoking pot. It doesn't. Alrighty, well, I appreciate you guys. I think it's about time to wrap it up. What are we at? We're about up just a little under two hours. I think I'm going to wrap it up. And um, it's getting pretty late. I appreciate you guys hanging out with us. I didn't realize how uh, how long this has been already, but had a lot of really fun conversation. Really appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like and, and subscribe before you leave. And I guess we will talk to you guys later. See ya.